Hey gents, we're diving into another requested company in the footwear space. This is JR Herman Handmade Shoes. So these are handmade shoes in Pakistan from the finest tanneries in Pakistan. I'm looking forward to trying out another cool footwear company. And they did a successful Kickstarter not too long ago. And they also include a free belt with all their shoes at $239. So if you take you know, $50 or so for a really nice handmade belt, put that into the shoe, um, it's a pretty good deal. So let's unbox this, take a look, and uh, round up my thoughts. JR Herman is a new footwear brand. They are really about the historic nature of footwear manufacturing, which is why they stick to hand welting. And a lot of the brands I check out do have some degree of hand making or hand finishing, uh, but this one is all entirely handmade. The black chuckas here are 239 plus you get a handmade belt included in there. They include these forms, which are nice to help keep the shoes formed. I do use cedar shoe trees in all my shoes, but if you don't have those, these are nice to have to keep the form when you're not wearing them. One of the points that they make is that they do source from the finest tanneries in Pakistan, which also supplies some of the finest luxury leather goods in the industry, and I can see that in the leather. This leather reminds me a lot of the Thomas Bird shoes that I recently unboxed, and I really like those. And I do have black chukkas from Beckett and Simenon, and you can see that this leather is like just one slight grade higher than Beckett and Simenon, and that's what you'd expect for the price difference. There's an interesting design to the toe box on these and the rest of their shoes. They have this chiseled toe box and then they also have more of a squared off finish, but it's a pointed square finish, not like, the, I always think of photographer's shoes or like the cemented uh, low end shoes that are squared. These are not quite that. They feel really solid on the feet. They remind me a lot of all of my Goodyear welted shoes. They have just a very substantial feeling to the heel and the sole of the shoe. And I like some of the imperfections to the sole that come along with that handmade nature. So I've been wearing them around a little bit. They're very comfortable so far. I'll definitely put these to their paces. I would say top-notch leather quality, top-notch construction so far. So at 239 price, I could definitely see where it could be higher, but it is really nice that it comes with that matching belt. I'm always a sucker for nice, substantial hardware on belts, and this belt definitely has that. It's also nice that it's a perfect match for these shoes, but it can work with other black shoes in your collection. There you have it, gents. Those are J.R. Herman Handmade Shoes. I'll link to them below so you can check them out. They have a few styles now, but it seems like a brand that is poised to grow. They're very early in this stage, but that's what I like to highlight on this channel is the little guys that uh, you don't always hear about. I feel like I say this all the time, but I've got an awesome slate of videos coming up very soon based on all of your suggestions and feedback. I'm also working on a vacation beard pretty early, going on vacation next week. Um, and so I'm looking forward to lots of stuff coming up. If you have any questions about JR Herman, any brands, anything else, go ahead and comment below. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Love to hear from you guys over there. And until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. <laughs> yeah, Tiger Greg, I actually have had all of my denim in the studio for the past two months because I've been intending to do a video on that, so more denim to come. I did a lot of denim when I was in my first studio like two and a half years ago, and now I'm, I'm going to get back to it because it's been out there. My days off, Anthony, are very limited. I spend a lot of time with my family, and I think about new videos uh, because I don't really take days off. You know, if I'm not working, I'm out in the studio when I can. If I'm not in the studio, I try to be with my family. So, you know, the priority is family, spending time with my, my son, my daughter, my wife, and then next priority is work, and then studio, or uh, channel, and so it kind of trickles out from there. I try to dress well and look good at country clubs. Vincero, I got a Vincero video coming up to compare to movement, so stay tuned for that, Peter Panda. And, uh, yes, my, my wife also likes my happy trail, Steven, so, thanks.